I need to remove this over the range microwave and I've never done one of these before and it looks kind of like a puzzle. I don't see any mounting screws or anything around the perimeter of the unit and I thought it might be helpful for you uh, do-it-yourselfers out there to see how it's done. Now in order to remove this particular microwave it's a general electric space maker. It's uh, not the latest model and that's part of the reason that I'm taking it out but to remove this I first need to remove this plastic panel on the top. It's held on originally by two screws but there's some slight damage here you can see so it's only held on by this one. So I'll take that out and remove this grill. Don't you love the feel of sticky old accumulated grease from food preparation? It's just great. There's just a film over this whole apparatus. So once we've removed this top grill, you can see there's a couple of screws here. These are critical for removing the microwave. The way I think this works is I remove these screws here and then I can slide the microwave out to access the mounting hardware behind it. But before I get to those, I'm also going to remove this lower metal piece here that's held on by a number of screws. So we'll take these out. There's quite a few of them. I wonder if old food grease is good for the skin. Doubtful. So I removed all of these screws on this lower panel and I can pivot this down. And I'll also remove these screws up top here. And then with these removed, you can tell that some progress is being made. But if I look under here, there's still one little screw behind this metal plate here that needs to be removed. And that might just be enough. Nope, looks like I need to remove this one too. Yeah, we also need to unplug this plug here, so I guess that's an important thing too, is make sure you disconnect the electrical before attempting to slide the microwave out. So now, she should be ready to come out, uh-huh. So I don't know how heavy this thing is, and I don't know when it's going to let go either from its perch here. Not too bad. So that's it. You learn something new every day here at the ranch. So I should have thought about where I'm going to put it. I found a good place for the microwave unit. And now the next step is to remove this mounting hardware. It's attached to the cabinet and the back wall with four screws. And there might be some junction behind here for the discharge vent so I will remove this little plate as well. I'm not sure if it's entirely necessary. And there's also an electrical connection here. However, this plug can't fit through this hole so I'm going to have to pull the unit down and feed this plug through the hole in the cabinet. So I'll remove this other screw here. 
It looks like it should just drop right out of there. So you wouldn't actually need to remove that. That's, uh, that's me doing some exploration for you. So the next step is to take out... That wasn't in very tight. That screw, and what do we have here? We've got a wide array of different kinds of screws. Got a quarter inch lag bolt here, and a Phillips over on the other side, and a couple of flathead bolts in the back. So there's those. Then when I remove these, this thing should slip right out. I will put this back up temporarily so it's not flopping around while I remove the assembly. And one more to go. That was pretty tight. Maybe I should put a wrench to it. There we go. So as I take out this last bolt, I need to make sure to keep some upward pressure on the whole assembly so it doesn't come crashing down into my range here. Home, home on the range. And there we go here. That's how you remove an over-the-range microwave. Now I have a nice space here to put a replacement microwave or maybe just a hood. But that's a choice I'll have to make on my own. Thanks for watching.